Heroes and heroines of all ages, when the world tells you to get a life, you're always welcome at the 1UP block. My name is Dan, the man, your host, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Crystal Version. When we last left off, we went through, uh, we went through basically normal type of the route. Uh, we met a couple of milk tanks, one that's specifically sick and needs a bunch of berries, but we're not going to worry about that because I'm not worried about Moo Moo Milk. Alright, now we can keep going. <laughs> oh, hello. You again? There's no need to panic. I don't bother with wimps like you. Speaking of weaklings, the city's gym leader isn't here. Supposedly taking care of a sick Pokemon at the lighthouse. Huh, <laughs> boo hoo. Just let sick Pokemon go. A Pokemon that can't battle is worthless. Why don't you go train at the lighthouse? Who knows, it may make you a bit less weak. Yeah, I'm weak because I keep kicking your ass. That makes sense. You're an intelligent motherfucker. <laughs> Alright, so, Olivine City Pokemon Gym. Leader, Jasmine, the steel-clad defense girl. Well, Jasmine is, quite frankly, one of my favorite gym leaders, because she is just all kinds of fantastic. Plus, she's a steel-type user. Steel Pokemon are really cool. Hello. Olivine is on the sea, and if it's on the sea, there are bound to be fish. I have fished here for 30 years. Would you like to face the sea and fish? Why, yes, I would. Ah, ha, ha. We have ourselves a new angler. Dan received a good rod. Hooray. And put the good rod in the key pocket. Fish aren't found in the sea alone. They go wherever they want. Ah, wherever there is water. I can't read. You guys know this, though. Hello. What do you have to say? The sea is sweet. The sunsets on the sea are marvelous. Sing with me. Yo ho, blow the man down. <laughs> what is this? Olivine Port. Wait, what? Fast ship pier. Ooh, a ship pier. That probably takes us somewhere, but, uh, you know, where it'll take us, we have no idea. Hello, what the hell is this? Ha! Your Pokemon sure look like lightweights. They don't have the power to move boulders aside. Here, use this and teach them strength. Ooh, Dan received HM04. Sweet! Wow, we're getting HMs fast. On the seas, the only thing you can count on is your own good self. I'm so proud of my buff bod. Ugh, gross. Out. I'm out. Whenever I roll into this town, I always visit the Alivine Cafe. Everything on the menu makes me feel stronger. I can't stop eating. Oh, so this is a cafe. Alivine Cafe's menu is that chock full of hearty fare for beefy sailors. Oh, that sounds nice. I could use something to eat, but you know, we're not worried about that because uh, we're Pokemon trainers. We don't need to eat. We just need to beat the Elite Four and whatnot. <laughs> Switch at least to the first. Or to first in the in in the row, heal up real quick. Get this out of the way. The sailor in the Olivine Cafe next door is really generous. He taught my Pokemon strength. Now I can move big boulders. Uh, well, I guess I should have talked to you first. Wow, you you and your Pokemon are really close. Oh, thanks. There's a person in Cinnawood City across the. Ah, I heard him bragging about his rare Pokemon. Oh, a rare Pokemon, you say? We should check that out if we ever go to that place. Alrighty, hello. What is this place? Dark roads are dangerous at night. But in this pitch black in the pitch black at night, the sea is even more treacherous. Without the beacon of the lighthouse to guide it, no ship can sail. Oh well that's unfortunate. So apparently uh Jasmine is at the lighthouse, so we should probably go check that out. Of course I'm talking to everybody because I'm a douche. My butterfree came from my boyfriend overseas. It carried some mail from him. Want to know what it says? Let's see. Nope, it's a secret. Oh, <laughs> douche. Do your Pokemon already know the move for carrying people on water? Oh, Surf? Yes, they do. Thank you for asking. <laughs> Alright, there's a couple of houses over here to check out. Hi, I'm looking for this Pokemon. If you have Krabby, would you trade it for my Voltorb? No. You don't have one either? Gee, that's really disappointing. I don't want a Krabby. But na 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 na. Ah, my eye itches. Hold on. Okay. Okay, I'm good. I promise. Hello. Whenever I get in trouble, Daddy always scares me. Oh. Along the way to Cinnawood, there are four deserted islands. Bad kids are taken to the islands as punishment. What? All right. <laughs> Is this one of those uh, the boy who cried wolf scenarios, where you scare the shit out of your children by telling them stupid stories? 
All right, so this is the lighthouse. I'm sure that's all it says. Olivine Lighthouse, also known as the Glitter... The Glitter Lighthouse? All right, then. Welcome to the lighthouse, everybody. Wait. All right, this place has a unique sound. That's cool. Hello. In the past, Pokemon used to light the sea around Olivine at night. The lighthouse was made in honor of those Pokemon. Oh, that's cool. Interesting. People, ah, people train at the lighthouse. It's not easy to climb because of all that, all the trainers. Um, also, if I forget to mention, I'm probably not gonna be, be like, oh, hey, here's that post edit where I tell you about the area we're in. Um, so if that doesn't happen, if I don't say anything about it, it'll just happen. Don't worry about it. Uh, but you know, in game, I'm not gonna know it's happening because obviously it's post editing. So yeah, there's that. But, um, hello, sir. Hmm? This is no place for playing. Ah, I can see that you're serious. <laughs> of course, I'm always serious. Up top is a Pokemon that keeps the lighthouse lit. But I hear that it's sick now, and can't be cured by ordinary medicine. Oh, no. That's not good. Hello. Men of the Seas are always spoiling for good- ah, for a good fight. Sailor Huey was defeated. Ugh, I lost. Or I lose, my bad. Well, I can read. Oh, god dang it, Joey. Seriously. Yo, Dan, how you doing? This is Joey, got a minute? My Rattata's looking sharper than before. I doubt there's a Pokemon as cool as this guy in your party. Oh yeah, I saw a wild Caterpie. I thought about going for it, but I decided to work with my one and only right to the extreme end. All right, later. What a douche. <laughs> Evolve your stupid rat -a to eradicate. Cool, that's the first time I've lost in a while. Hey, give me your phone number. You'd be fun to battle, so I'll call you when you ah, when I get stronger. Sure, why not? Hey, your phone's already full. Oh, I can't have any more numbers? That's weird. Can I get rid of numbers? I don't know you could fill it up. That sucks. Oh, I can delete people. Um, oh boy. Who do I delete? <laughs> Um, I'm not going to worry about it. It, it. it really doesn't matter. We've already got enough people calling us. Hello. Why are you here? Are you just going to gawk? I suggest that you leave. Bird Keeper Theo was defeated. You really are concerned. Of course. How the heck do you go up? I want to visit the sick Pokemon, but I can't get up there. I'll find a way. I'm gonna make sure that Pokemon is okay, because I am a hero for all Pokemon! Uh, I think we have to fall down one of these holes, actually. Maybe. I travel the world to train my Pokemon. I wish to battle with you. Gentleman Preston was defeated. Sigh. I must train some more. Hooray! We got a bunch of money! What? Elisa's evolving? Congratulations, your Elise evolved into Espeon. Oh my word. What? Shy Guy's evolving? Wait, what? Congratulations, your Shy Guy evolved into a Togetic. No way! That's so perfect! Oh my gosh, that's so cool that we got both of them at the same time. Okay, so in the last episode, I did this really stupid jump cut to prevent, because during one of the battles, it was nighttime, right? That's why it's daytime right now, because I literally cheated to make it daytime. I'm sorry. But um, I leveled up Elise when it was nighttime, and she was evolving into Umbreon, so I cut that out. Oh my gosh. I didn't want to spoil it, but of course, I was going to let her evolve into Espeon, because Espeon is my favorite Pokemon. And now, Elise has finally changed into her final form. <laughs> so yeah, that's really cool. Also, she learned Bite after I beat Morty, which is really shitty. She might have been the Espeon already if that is, it wasn't for that frickin' loss. But uh, yeah, and we also got Shy Guy, who's a bird. I guess she's flying type, right? Uh, normal flying. Cool. Swift Charm, Mission, all, all, or he knows all the same things, so he's the same. But oh my gosh, this is so cool that that happened. Oh, that's 
I, 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 no words. No words can even express. Uh, I'm gonna switch. Well, yeah, I'm gonna switch Pepper out. Everybody, now that she's finally evolved, everybody else needs some experience, so. Uh, hopefully that wasn't a bad move on my part, because there's a lot of water-type Pokemon in this place. Jasmine is this city's gym leader. I mean to bring her, I mean to bring her back. Nobody had better get in my way. Oh, sorry, that kind of lost. Last Connie was defeated. Eh, my Pokemon! We got a bunch of money. Hooray. Right. Anybody would be worried if his or her own Pokemon were hurt. I'll pray for the Pokemon here, so Jasmine can come back to the gym. Well, that's nice of you. Probably a good idea. Okay, so those holes are what we fall through. If we if we walk into those holes right there, we'll fall down. So, Jasmine must be worried sick about the Pokemon here. She won't even smile these days. Sailor Kent was defeated. I can't manage a smile either. Oh, come on, buddy. It's not that bad. Speaking of sick, I've heard there's a good pharmacy in Cinewood. Ooh. Well, that's a hint. All right, go upstairs. Uh, hello. We're pretty high up here. My bird Pokemon are in prime form. Bird Keeper Dennis was defeated. Oops, they crashed. <laughs> I get it, because they're bird Pokemon. My Pokemon learned how to use fly in Cinewood. Well, since I'm a loser, I'll fly across the sea. Wait, what? You're a loser, so you're gonna fly across the sea. Oh, don't put yourself down there, buddy. Oh, hey, a Pokeball. Nice. Ooh, it's a rare candy, too. Fantastic. Not gonna use it, but rare candies are cool. Boo, boo, boo. What time are we at? 14 minutes? Good. We have enough time. Well, it doesn't matter. We're not cutting it off at the uh, whatchamacallit. We're... Okay, so now there's no way to go. So we need to fall through a floor. Okay, so which floor do we fall through here? Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Let's fall through this floor. Yoink. Okay. That did nothing. Wasn't there one to fall through over here, too? Ah, uh, no. That's a negative Ghost Rider. Alright. So if we fall through this hole here, then we should wind up... No. Okay. Keep checking. Checking for holes. Is there a hole? No, there's not. Guys, you know to check for them holes. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry. Alright, so this is the only holes we can fall down, so I guess this is it. Yoink. Maybe not. This is That was not the right hole to fall down, was it? What in the heck? Alright. We're gonna figure this out. Matter of fact, we're gonna start speeding this up so we can figure it out faster. Okay. Go upstairs. Okay. There must be something I'm missing, right? Oh, this hole. This hole right here. There we go. Hello. Sailors are both kind and strong. How about you? Sailor Terrell was defeated. Hey, that's my buddy's middle name. You are both kind and strong. Hooray. Oh, come on, Chad. Hi, Dan. Good morning. It's Chad. How are you? Want to battle? I have to battle every so often to avoid resting out. I'll be on Route 38. All right. Unfortunately, we're going to have to turn that, that date down. I've got other business. Ooh, an ether. Cool. Ethers are always nice to have on hand. Uh, okay, so now we just need to go up. I know you're going to want to fight, so... I wanted to battle Jasmine, but she's not up to it now. So, how about you? Sailor Ernest was defeated. Whoa, whoa, you're overwhelming. Damn right. A gym leader isn't just about being strong. A leader also needs to be compassionate. You're very true. Or that's very true. Ooh, a super repel. Nice. I always forget to buy those. Oh, and here we are. All right, I'm going to just skip ahead to check and see if I can go find... Oh, there's a Pokeball, huh? Oh, the egg's hatching, too! No way, what is it? Oh! A Tyrogue! That's interesting. Tyrogue came out of its egg. Give it a nickname? Uh, hell yeah. We're going to call him... 
Oh, what do we call him? I don't know any. Uh, um. Uh, I, I don't have any clever names. Hold on a second. I'm gonna call him Turvy. Tur. Where's an R? Turvy. Alright. Hooray! If you didn't know, Tyrogue is the baby form of. Uh, Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan, which is introduced in this game, but they also have a new evolution, which is called Hitmon Top. So that's the route I'm going to be going with him because, uh, you know, we saw Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan in the last game, so I figured why not try out Hitmon Top because I never used Hitmon Top. I'm actually kind of surprised we got Tyrogue. Dan found a super potion. Fantastic. That's good. All right. Hello, Jasmine. This Pokemon always kept the sea lit at night, but it suddenly got sick. It's gasping for air. I understand that there is a wonderful pharmacy in Cinewood, but that's across the sea, and I can't leave Ampy unattended. May I ask you to get some medicine for me, please? Of course, you adorable little piece of love. So, that's now our mission. I'm gonna speed up through this because uh, we actually just need to get out of here. Okay, alrighty. Now we're done with that, so we need to go surfing across the sea to Cinewood so we can grab a... We can grab some uh, blah, 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 medicine for Ampy. Good morning, we're going to heal up. Alrighty. And... Yeah, so on the next episode, that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be traveling across the seas. Hopefully not being... Hopefully we weren't naughty kids so we don't get stuck in the world island. Ah, islands. That would kind of suck, but uh, you know... That's all the time we have for this episode. A hero's work is never done. Join me and the gang as we continue to tackle the Johto region. Later days, everybody.